Hey, good morning, y'all. It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. How y'all doing today? So today, I want to talk to y'all about all the Jehovah Witnesses that come to my page, the current Jehovah Witnesses, and say all the really nice things to me. <laughs> or not, you know what I'm saying? The one thing I really want to talk to y'all about is why do they always say I'm stupid? Or they always say apostates are stupid? Like, really? I'm stupid, huh? You're calling me stupid. Okay, let's look at that. Because on some level, I agree with you, actually. Yes, I was especially stupid when I was younger. Because you know what I used to believe? I used to believe that a God who didn't stop wars or slavery or thought that, you know, and he also thought that women were like less than men and, you know, he, this same God had a problem with me beating off in the privacy of my own home. <laughs> he was okay with all the other stuff. Didn't have nothing to say about that. But when it came to me touching myself <laughs> or me taking blood, oh, that makes me a horrible person that deserves to die. All those wars and stuff, yeah, 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 I'll deal with that eventually later, but this needs attention right now. <laughs> you know, like, really? And then here they come, oh, haha, -ha, you think you're so funny. You think you're so entertaining. Well, let's see if you're laughing when a great tribulation in Armageddon come and I'm in paradise enjoying my perfect life. Here we go again. We are, we're, we're waiting for it. We're still waiting, bro, you know? Like, I've been waiting a long time. Whenever, all, why all the good stuff about being a Jehovah Witness you gotta wait for? Like, yeah, you know, we're gonna live in paradise, we're gonna have perfect bodies and a big old penis. Like, it's gonna be great, I can't wait. <laughs> like, I gotta wait for that though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't enjoy that. Because if you're a Jehovah Witness, you wait for all the good stuff, but in the meantime, between time, you know, you can get your family ripped apart and build a couple kingdom halls for free and, you know, go work and, 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 and Bethel for free. And, you know, like, you can do all that in the meantime while you wait, you know. You can daily get your, you know, brainwashed and stuff like that until the paradise get here and then everything will be fine, you know. Yeah, we're going to probably murder millions of people, but you'll be great. You'll be great. And it'll be so worth it when we get to the uh, paradise system, you know. I mean... Ah, that's what you believe. And that's very smart to believe that. But you know what's really, like, interesting? And they keep telling me about this great tribulation. Like, we've been waiting for this great tribulation since 1914. And you know what? Since we're waiting on a Armageddon that probably ain't going to happen, I think I want to create my own Armageddon. I've been thinking about this, y'all. It's called the RDRP. Or the RDRA. That's what it is. The donkey rising raping up the rising donkey raping apocalypse. <laughs> yep. The RDRA. The rising donkey raping apocalypse. On the first day, it says that the earth will crack open and the smell of donkey booty will rise out. And then on the second day, throughout the world, you'll hear the sound of hee-haw. And on the third day, donkeys will rise from the bosom of the earth and start humping people on the leg. <laughs> I think my apocalypse is way more interesting. Definitely more funny. Like, in that way, 8 billion people won't die. And I mean, like, yeah, they'll get like a little donkey come on their leg. But they'll be fine. You know, you can survive that. <laughs> oh, yes. The RDRA. It's going to happen, man. Have faith. <laughs> it's better than your great tribulation. When your great tribulation, everybody just dies. It's not even nothing fun about it. You know what I'm saying? You can't even get a laugh out of it. And we all got to wait for it. Oh, just wait. You you, you laugh now, but you ain't going to be laughing when the mighty hand of God come down. <sighs> Please, brother. Please. We've been waiting so long for that. At this point now, let's just go ahead and say, hey, it might not happen, okay? Can we agree to that? Y'all so definite and confident and like, oh, look at this. Look at all these signs. We're getting more and more signs. I'm like, yes, the world is getting crappier. I've been saying that for years. I can predict stuff too then if that's all we got to look for is stuff that's easily predictable. Like, okay, another easily predictable thing. Next year, the Great Tribulation won't happen. 
Prediction made. If the great tribulation don't happen next year, that means you now have to follow me and worship me because that means that I have made a prophecy and it has come true and I am now a member of the governing body because I make correct prophecies. And then I prof I'll make another prophecy right now. The great tribulation won't happen the year after that either. Oh, that's two prophecies. <laughs> if these two prophecies come true, you now have to worship me. I'll be a gentle God. I'm like, no, I won't. I'll ask for the <laughs> fingernails of your firstborn son. <laughs> I don't want the, the firstborn daughter's fingernails. No, her nails shall grow and get painted, as I say. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> y'all got to just put up with me this morning. I'm in, I'm in a good mood, man, you know? I've been arguing with, J, with JWs all night, and it's been killing me. Like, y'all don't understand how hard I laugh at these comments of people telling me I'm going to die while also trying to convince me that they love me. Jay, you're going to die. I can't wait till you die. You're going to die soon. But I love you, though. <laughs> oh, God. It's entertainment, y'all. It is entertainment. Anyway, uh, I hope y'all have a great day. Holla at Chiguala, deuces.